Hello everyone, welcome back to the video and today I'm going to show you how to install mods for Minecraft 1.17.1. So if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and also hit that subscribe button if you are new to this channel, I'd really appreciate that. So yes, today I'm going to show you how to install Forage uh, for Minecraft 1.17.1. So yeah, you need Forage to actually make mods work and it is super easy and if you do get confused anywhere through this video, you can join my Discord. I have a help section on my Discord server and if you need any help at all, let me know on my Discord server and I will help you there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually load up your Minecraft. So my Minecraft is just over here, so I'm going to load up that. So yesterday we are installing mods for Minecraft 1.17.1. So what I'm going to want to do is actually find myself the latest release just here, Minecraft 1.17.1 and then click on play. So what we want to do is actually let this load up, then once this loads up, all you've got to do is actually just close it back down. So you need to do this to make Forage work, so once this loads up, you're going to quickly close it down. So once it's loaded up, just click on quit game, just like that. So yeah, the next thing I want to do is actually head over to this website just here, I will leave a link in the first description down below to go over to this website. So this is the Forage website, so what you want to do is actually click on the latest release just up here, as you can see, I've got 17.1 just there. So once you've clicked on the one you want, just click on install just here. Now it will bring you over to like a little page just like this one, and all you've got to do is actually wait for the seconds to go down, and then just click on skip. And once you click on skip, it will start downloading it, and sometimes it will bring you over to another page where it shows an ad, all you've got to do is just click away from it just like that, and yeah, and now it's actually all gone. But anyway, once this is downloading just down here, as you can see, this file could harm your computer. It won't. I've downloaded hundreds of these, even thousands, and it won't harm your computer. So all you got to do is click on keep. And once you click on keep, just wait for it to download. And once it's downloaded, all you got to do is just drag it to your desktop just like that. So as you can see, mine is like a little uh, jar file with a coffee mug. And if yours not like this, it could be because you don't have Java installed. Now, to install Java, you have to head over to this website just here just like this, it might look like this for you guys, just like this, all you got to do is click on download up here, now you want to check if you've got 64-bit or 32-bit operating system, so what you're going to want to do is click on the little search bar down here in your computer, then put in system, as you can see system just here, click on that, now once this loads up, as you can see here system type is 64-bit operating system, this is what you want to look for, now if yours says 32-bit, it doesn't matter, It's uh, it all still works and all that. Basically what you want to do is actually just find which one yours is. So mine is 64-bit and that is fine. So what you're going to want to do, if you've got 32-bit, you can just click on this button just here to uh, start downloading uh, Java 32-bit. But if you've got 64-bit, you're going to want to come down further and click on this button just here. So once you click on that, it will bring you to a new page just like this one. Now what you're going to do is actually see right here 64-bit just here. So click on that. And once you've clicked on that, you can see just here, Java for 64-bit, then click on this button just here. And once you've done this, it will bring you over to another page just like this one. And then what you're going to want to do is click on the Windows Offline 64-bit, just like that. And then it will start downloading it just down here. Now once it's actually downloaded, you can double click on it or just click on it once and then it will bring up another menu and you have to install this. But I'm not going to do that in today's episode because it does take a little while. So I'm going to cancel it and I've already got it installed so I don't need to do it. Now also, what you're going to want to do is actually head over to another website just like this one and actually find the mods you want. So as you can see, I've got 1.17.1 in here. Now you need to download the right mod version. So if you're going to play mods in Minecraft 1.17.1, you have to look for the mods that have 1.17.1 in them as they will not work. So I'm going to find a mod to actually download. So let's actually have a little look through here and see what I would like. Let's just install something random. Let's just go for uh, weapons, I don't know, some extra weapons in Minecraft. Why not? You've got to make sure it has 1.17.1 in it if you're going to play mods in 1.17.1. But anyway, let's head down to the bottom. This is how you install them. So we head down to the bottom of the page and Sometimes it just says requires Minecraft Forage. Don't worry, we're going to install that in a second. So what we're going to do is actually find 1.17.1 and just click on one of these uh, downloads just here. Then once this has happened, just click on download and it will download the mod just down here, just like that. So sometimes it will show an ad as well. Just click on the little X button just there and it gets rid of that ad. Once again, this file could harm your computer. Just click on keep. That will work totally fine. I've downloaded thousands of these and uh, yeah, my computer still works. So that's all really all good. So I'm just going to drag mine to the desktop, just drag it to your desktop and click X. So now you can see I've actually got Forage and I've also got my mod I want it in store. I'm actually going to move this over to the slide for now because I don't want that just yet. And also if your file does not show this jar file just like this, like this little coffee mug, just right click 
and click open with, I just click on Java just there. Anyway, mine shows it as you can see just now. So I'm going to double click on this file and once you've double clicked on it, you just want to click on the top one just here and you want to make sure it goes to your dot Minecraft just here as you can see. Now if it doesn't say dot Minecraft, just click on the three little dots just here and then actually find your uh, Minecraft in-store location. And once you've done that, it should all be like this dot Minecraft then click OK. Now this will take a little bit, it won't take too long, depends how fast your computer is. Once this is done, we can start actually installing mods. Now we will say as well that sometimes it will put a little file like this on your computer. Now you want to leave this file and just leave it on your computer because you actually need this for uh, Forage to actually run. As you can see mine has actually installed right now so click on OK. Now we don't need this jar file anymore so there's uh, Forage in it so just get rid of that. Now to actually install mods what you want to do is actually find where your Minecraft's actually installed. So for me it's actually in my files and there is an easy way of getting it to it. Now if you don't know where it's installed it's alright all you got to do is actually load up your Minecraft then click on play now once your minecraft has loaded up all you got to do is click on options click on resource packs then click on open resource folder now once you've done this you can see right here my dot minecraft is just there so click on your dot minecraft and now this is your minecraft uh, installed folder so basically this is where all your minecraft folders stay so what you're going to do is actually find mods now as you see i've got a few mods already installed uh, yeah, just leave those alone. I'm actually going to drag those out for a second and get rid of those. So yeah, yours should look something like this. Be, it will be empty. And all you got to do is inst install your mod. So just drag that in just like that. Now that is basically done. All you got to do is click on the little X button just there. Now I'm actually going to close this down because yeah, we can't use that just yet. Right, to actually now play your mods, just double click on Minecraft once again. Now, what you want to do is actually come onto installs up here. As you can see, if you're like this, you can't see uh, your forage file anywhere. So just click on modded just over here. As you see, I've got forage just there and it has come up. What you're going to want to do is click on the little three little dots just over here. Because what we're going to want to do now is actually add more RAM to your Minecraft. So you can actually run mods a lot better. Now, to find out how much RAM you've got on your computer, is actually right click on the little task bar at the bottom. Then click task manager. Then click on performance over here. And once you've done that, you can see just here on memory, I've got 60, well, I've got 15.9 gigabytes of RAM. If you've got the same as me as 16 gigabytes or 15.9, you will be totally fine. But if you've got like eight or even four gigabytes, now it's a bit a little bit harder for you to run mods, but it should be still just okay. But so yeah, what you want to do, if you've got 16 gigabytes, move this number just here up to four, just like that. Now, if you've got eight gigabytes, you might be able to run four gigabytes of RAM. You would have to do some testing on that. And if you've got four gigabytes of RAM, you want to turn this down to two. So I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, so I'm actually going to move this up to four gigabytes, just like that, and then click on save. Now, once you've done that, click back over to play, then click on these little three little buttons just here, and then find your forage one just there, then click on play. Now you understand the risk, just click I understand and click play. Now it might take a little bit for it to actually load up as you can see it's downloading just here. Then once you've done this, your menu will look a little bit different once you're loading it up. So once it's loading up in a second, I will show you. So as you see, mine has loaded up right now. And actually I've got a warning up here, it's uh, Forage Beta, that's all right. Actually I've got three mods installed. Remember I only installed one mod, so two mods are actually Forage. So if we come into mods just here, you can see here one is Minecraft and one is Forage, just leave those alone. And as you see, mine is just here, so the weapons mod I just installed. So now it is all working. All you got to do is actually head into your own Minecraft single player world. So I'm actually going to create a new world. It's going to creative and it's actually create world. Now once you come into your world, as you see, I'm in my world just now. And it's actually checks worked. So yeah, it has worked. As you see, I've got another option just over here. So now I can actually get some other weapons and stuff like that. And yeah, it's pretty cool, really. You can install a bunch of mods. And remember, the more mods you installed, the more your Minecraft game will lag. So yeah, if you have like 20 mods in, your Minecraft world might be lagging a bit. And yeah, that might happen. And if you guys need any help at all, if you got stuck or anything doesn't work, let me know in my Discord. I've got a help section on my Discord server. If you need any help, just come and join that. Now, if you want to know how to install mods for uh, Minecraft servers, let me know in the comments below or leave a like on this video. I will show you guys how to do that. But anyway, this is it for this video, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to this channel. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.